When the new AI denoise button in Side of Lightroom was released, every photographer was raving about it. But today, I wanna take a minute and talk about the old noise reduction slider that can do some pretty neat things. And I'm saying this because the old luminous sliders is one of the really few ways to add a bit of blur to your photos without having to jump to Photoshop. And to achieve this effect, you have to push the luminance value pretty high and then make sure your contrast and details are set to pretty low values. And while blurring an entire photo is not that useful, we can also achieve this effect inside of a Lightroom mask. And if we combine this with a bit of sharpness reduction, because yeah, that's something you can also do inside of a Lightroom mask, you can actually blur out parts of your photos. And I'm actually using this feature inside of my grain presets in order to blur out the photo underneath the grain so the grain particle is still the smallest thing visible in my photos. And speaking of grain, you know how you can tweak the size and the roughness of the grain you added with a mask in the global panel? The same way you can tweak the details and the contrast of the noise reduction in the global panel. And since I'm pretty sure my minute has passed, I'm gonna stop talking about noise reduction, but if you wanna learn some more about grain, you can head over on my website because I just dropped a new article going super in-depth on how you can emulate it inside of Lightroom.